Hey people, this is Tia. I'm coming to you this evening with a braid out that I won't be wearing out at all. Um, I had my hair in a few box plaits underneath of my um, last wig that I had on this week. And so I'm coming to you tonight because, or whatever time of day you're watching this, I'm coming to you so that you can see how I put in my bobby pin weave. This is a request video from one of my subbies, Miss Lovely by far. And I'm going to show you how I put in the weave. It's really, really easy. It can be fast. Um, just act like this is shampooed and conditioned and detangled hair, even though it's not. Because I'm going to be shampooing my hair tonight, but not before I put this in. It's going to be a little bit later. So, anyways, first thing you're going to need, of course, hair. I'm using, um, this is... Um, the winners collection and I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it because it's silver on silver lettering but the hair is Spice Curl Afro Kinky and it's in number two non-flammable it's synthetic hair you can use human hair but basically the curlier the hair the easier it is to describe to the skies the pins and the flat twist or cornrows whatever you decide to use to um, anchor the hair so that's the hair I'm using. I got it for $2.99. They were clearancing it at my local hair shop. So, yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like out of the package. This one is um, 1 in 33, so it's a slightly lighter brown toward the ends of it. It matches my hair as far as the um, sections that have been highlighted. This is all jumbled up. I just took it out the pack to check and see if I could pull the curls apart. And here's one of the curls, stretched. And you can pull them apart for volume because the whole point of the matter is to get a big afro with lots of volume. But um, you still want to be able to trim it. You want to be able to control it. With these curls, you can control the volume because you pull it apart until you're satisfied and then you stop. But the curls are really pretty and it is afro looking. And this is the kind of hair that gets better with each wear. I'm sniffing it because sometimes hairs have a funny smell. This one has a... Um, it's synthetic hair. It has a slightly funny smell, but nothing nauseating. It's um, it's not offensive like some of the smells I've had before. Um, along with the hair, sorry about that, but along with the hair, you're going to need combs, at least two, um, unless you can get this kind of a comb, a rat tail comb with wide teeth at the top, because you're going to need a comb to comb your hair as you're flat twisting or corn rolling and you're going to need this to part it. You don't have to have a rat tail. If you had to choose between this and this, go ahead and get your detangling comb, something that's wider teeth that you can comb through your hair with because the last thing you want to do is to put this hair in and when you take it out catch all kinds of you know problems detangling. So you're going to do that and then you're going to need bobby pins. This is a pack of 120. I'd always suggest you get two packs of 100 bobby pins and two packs of hair. Um, bobby pins you can use for anything, so they and they don't go bad. So you can you know use them even if you never do the weave again. The hair, if you only need one pack, if you only end up needing one pack, then you can always take it back to the hair store, the unopened pack. So, anyways, what I'm gonna do is. Flat twist my hair back. I'll come back when that's all flat twisted and show you how I put the weave in. Hey, I'm back. And as you can see, my hair is pretty much all flat twisted. I left this one open so that I could show you how I do it. And you can, of course, cornrow your hair instead of flat twisting. But I flat twist simply because it's quicker for me and my cornrows aren't that good. If you want um, to keep this style for several weeks, you probably want to cornrow it. But if it's just for a quick change, flat twists are fine. So, as you see, this is my flat twist. They're not very neat. Um, if you want to do something that's going to last longer, you might want to make them neater. I'm just going to gather the tail ends of them and I'm just going to twist it just a little bit just to fold them over. And I'm going to put one kind of big hair pin in there, well, bobby pin in there, just to secure it down. Then what you're going to do is flat twist or cornrows in. Find the end of the tracks that you're putting in. And for me, the end is right here. And get a couple bobby pins off of the card that it comes in. 
So I stick them in my pocket. What you're going to do is take the tail end of your tracks, lay it flat, and then you're going to pin it down like so. Just pin it into your hair because the flat twist slash cornrow is what's going to anchor it. You're just going to pin it like this. I'm not going to put it in too, too tight. This pin isn't going in. I'm not putting it in too tight. All I'm doing, having a hard time, only because um, my hands are a little oily. But as you see, this is how the back is going to look, the first little row. And you just pin it down, that's all. And once you get this first row down, you can do it one of two ways. You can loop the hair back over and put more pins in to hold it secure. Or you can take it around. If you loop it back over, then you need to be bringing it around this time. So you can either go circular from the beginning or you can loop one time and then go circular like this. And you're going to just pin at different intervals. One, two, three, four. As many pins as you want and as secure as you like. So what I'm going to do is finish pinning this in, show you how I close the top, and then show you how to style it. So that's all um, for that portion, and I'll be back in a second. Hey, I'm back. As you see, I've installed most of the hair. Um, I put it in really sloppy. It's no biggie um, because it's not staying in. But I wanted to show you how I close it off on the top. I have went around with bobby pins, pinning the hair in at little intervals. I only used a few pins since I'm not keeping it. When I get to the top, I always cut a piece longer than what I probably will need since I've covered most of my hair. And I just like fold it maybe twice. Just fold it in half. Hopefully you can see this. And fold it in half once more. And then I just pin it down. I might use two or three pins up here. Make sure that you put the pins into your comfort. They don't have to be tight and they don't have to press against certain points on your head that might be a little sensitive. Um, so as you see the overall shape is in. If it looks a little messy, sorry, but I'm not keeping it. What you do at this point is basically like pull the curls with your fingers. Just pull them apart. This is why you have to have curly hair. If you use straight hair to do this, you'll see the pins. You'll see your natural hair underneath, which you can see mine. But you can get closer to the hairline depending on how close you pin it. And anyway, you're going to make the hair really big. You can always cut a bang into it or whatever. And that can cover your hairline. Um, or if it matches your texture close enough, you can leave some of your hairline out. In any case, you start playing with the curls, making them bigger. You can either do this with your hands or a really effective way if the curls are really firm is just to take a small tooth comb and kind of comb it. Do exactly what you shouldn't do to your natural hair, which is comb it with a small tooth comb. But um, you can just comb it like that and that will make the curls get bigger as well. So what I'll do is post some videos, not videos, pictures of how it looked when I finished styling it. Yes, you're going to want to comb this out and you're going to want to trim it as well because as you can see the back is way longer than the top layers which you should expect but um, just take a pair of scissors and just trim it. The good thing about afro textured hair is that even if you trim it and it doesn't look so even you can tease it and play with it to make it look rounded or whatever effect you're going for. So I'll go ahead and post that picture, well pictures and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is the finished result. Um, I'm not going to show you the back only because I rushed through it. Um, this took me about 40 minutes to do from beginning to end from the flat twist to the pinning and that includes the talking portions. Um, I fluffed out the front really big and you would do that all the way around. Um, you may want to get a handheld mirror to check the back as well to see, make sure that you fluffed it out sufficiently and just get some shears, some hair shears and trim where it's too long, trim it into shape. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's really easy. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the info box. 
but this is the bobby pin weave look and i hope you like i'm gonna be putting up some more videos tonight so i will see you in the next video bye